हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ प्रियंत कुमार एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज लूप्स इन वी सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लूप्स अवेलेबल इन द वी बी एंड आई टेल यू विद एन एग्जाम्पल सो आई एम हाईलाइटिंग दिस रेंज फ्रॉम ए वन टू ए टेन सो वी आर टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ राइटिंग द टेबल राइट so uh, we have to write a table of the particular given value which the value is being given on the g1 right so whatever value has been given on the g1 we have to write a table by using the loop okay so now let's start i'll press alt f11 to go to the vva window so uh, we can press the alt f11 to go to the vba window wherein we will type the code so alt f11 and press control r to showcase the project window okay so now I'm, now i'll insert a module go to the insert insert module to writing the code and i'll first of all i'll define a subroutine sub i'm giving the name write the table okay so we cannot give the space while defining the subroutine name okay so write the table now i'll write start writing the code between the subroutine so first of all we have to define the seat for which particular seat we have to write the uh, table okay so i'm uh, declaring the seat dim ash as worksheet so i have declared ash as a worksheet so set ash this workbook dot seats and the one because the our seat is uh, at the first location right the location of the seat is one so either we can use the location number or we can use the seat name also seat name in the inverted comma okay now i'm i'll declare a integer so i'm taking i as integer okay so there are different type of loops available in the vba so first of all i'll discuss about the for loop so how we can use the for loop in the vba to writing a code okay so i'm making a commands for loop okay so okay so for starting the for loop we have to take for i then the number lower number 2 and then the upper number will be the 10 of course so we have to write the code from 1 to 10 from the row number 1 to row number 10 okay so 1 to 10 and the close the loop next i and now we write the code between the loop okay so so i'll take i have to give the value on this first of all on the uh, range a1 so i'll take the uh, ass dot range a and will make the number dynamic a and i okay dot value equal to so value will be the i which will be the running number up to the 10 each time the value of i will be changed so first time the value of i will be the 1 second time 2 then 3 4 up to the 10 okay so i'll type the, type the i and the value of e1 then the e1 is ass dot range e1 dot value okay so now our code is completed for writing a table and now i'm giving the message box done so which will indicate me uh, the code has been completed okay so now we will run the code we can press alt f8 so case this window we either we can run from here directly or one more uh, thing is available click on option we can give a shortcut to running our macro so i am giving here the m so now the shortcut is control plus m so when i will press control plus m control m basically then my macro will be run okay like that so uh, my code has been executed uh okay so now i'm changing again the value of control m so 
so that is how you can use the for loop in the VBA to uh, you can use in other example also so this was an example for writing the code okay so just we can click on the edit to showcase this value and we can make the comments either one by one or just we can select this and click on comments block okay so in one click all the selected lines will be comments okay so now we'll go to the next loop we'll use the next loop or the do while loop do while loop okay so for using the do while loop we can we have to give a condition okay first of all we uh, so i'm taking the another integer however i can use the same integer which i have defined i but i want to use the uh, another integer for the do while loop so i'm taking n equal to 0 okay so the starting value of the n will be the 0 so we'll use the do while n is less than uh, 11 of course then it will run up to the 10 right so uh, now we can type the code here ass dot range a and i or uh, even we have taken the integer n for this loop then we'll type the n okay not i dot value equal to the same thing which we have taken above i into ss dot value the so same thing we can take here n into the same value and into the same value i have copied it from above so in the starting we have to take the n equal to 1 because uh, we will start from the row number 1 right so now the value of n will be changed now n equal to n plus 1 and we'll close this loop by typing the loop okay loop so now this loop has been completed do while loop Now uh, let's see let's see the result we'll press ctrl m to run the macro okay we also can uh, give a shape here basically the a button so and can click right click on this and edit the text whatever text you want to showcase here run the macro or anything else and we'll format it accordingly and right click us go to the assign macro and select the macro whatever macro you want to assign this for this button and click the button the code will be run okay so that is how you can click change the value of even so whatever the value will be available on the even the table uh, will be written for that okay so uh, this was the do while loop there is another loop available which is the do until loop so we can use the do until loop also for the same scenario okay so do until and do while loop are pretty same basically there is a, a minor difference of the uh, given the condition okay so when i use the do while loop i take the n is less than 11 so when i will take the uh, sorry do until okay so uh, i was saying uh, i'll use the do until when n equal to 10 okay so rest code will be the same what we have uh, written in the do while loop so we can use it the same loop okay so let's go to the seat click oh so we have taken the n equal to 10 the condition so either we should take the uh, n equal to uh, 11 or we should take the condition n is greater than 10 right then only the condition uh, will be there so uh, basically the do until a loop 
will be run till the time your condition is not met as soon as your condition will get met the loop will be exist so okay so uh, now if we will take n equal to 11 then loop will be running up to the n equal to 10 so as soon as the n will be equal to 2 the 11 so we also can take the n is greater than uh, 10 so now it's also working so this condition will be working also n is greater than 10 okay so whenever n will greater than 10 then loop will be completed okay so do until loop is also completed now uh, one more thing i will tell you about the for loop okay so we can use the stepping in the for loop right so i'll tell you what is the stepping so stepping is basically the step for the for loop by default the step in the for loop is the uh, positive one like uh, we didn't take any stepping in the uh, for loop which we used above now we will take the uh, stepping here so now i'm taking the i equal to 2 to 20 right and i'm taking the stepping 2 step 2 i'll write the step 2 so now it will take two step at a time not the one okay uh, first time when the loop will run then i equal to 2 and the next time i will not be equal to 3 i will be equal to 4 directly because the step is 2 so for this code we have to change some things here now we'll take the i divided by 2 because the value is already double to 220 so similarly we'll take the i divided by 2 in the bracket now look at this code now we can run this macro click on macro run okay now working perfectly so friends uh, these were uh, these are the some example for using the loop and uh, there is uh, this is only the example basically to for writing the table you can use in your data accordingly whatever you want to do with your data with the stepping or uh, there is uh, one important thing for the using the stepping whenever you are running a for loop from the upper side to the lower side then you can use the step minus one 